That's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the beast. Run. Hey everyone, this is John from Show Me Pickers, and boy oh boy do I have an exciting video for you today. Um, let's just say that it involves me and the police and making a donation to a local thrift store. And uh, I've got it all on video, I've got all of the wonderful footage for you to watch. But first, we're going to jump down into the basement and we are going to show you the 17 items that I sold, that me and my wife sold, yesterday and like through today on eBay. We sold $607 worth of awesome merchandise. That brings up our total to almost $15,000 for the last rolling 30 day period. We are absolutely slaying it on eBay. We hope you enjoyed the video and we're gonna jump right into it right now. Okay, the first item that we have should be in this tote. I just brought it down last night. And uh, let me do something here real quick. Let me grab this. Can you come over here and help me? Let's set this down on here. Here we go. Crack the lid and see if we can find them. Oh, look at that, Sully. So cool. I love that pretty blue phone. They almost match. Uh, here they are right here. These were free. There's actually should be another one in there. Can you see? Yep, there it is right there. These were free. I pulled them off of the uh, appliances next door. How much did we pay for these? For? Yeah, how much did we sell them for? $25 plus 10 shipping. $25 plus 10 shipping, and I got them for absolutely nothing. That is a great deal. Okay, the next item that I got is a set, uh, or one of these wheel caps. These were from uh, the video that I did when I took the aluminum wheels up to the salvage yard and only got five bucks a piece for them. Boy, was I disappointed on that. But I bought them for the center caps. How much did the center cap go for? 40 bucks, free shipping. 40 bucks and free shipping. So that makes it all better, I think. Yeah. Okay, the next item that we have here is the Truth number two. It is the bow hunting DVD. I bought these last year. I'm still selling them, but I figured I'd sell a bunch of them during deer season this year, but uh, I only sold a couple. I sold it for $8.95. Was it shipped or was that? That was shipped. $8.95 shipped. Not a good buy, but hey, it's still making money, I guess. Right, guys? Making money. Thumbs up for making money. Okay, guys, that last one was kind of a dud, but the next one is going to be pretty good. This one here is nope. the... Oh no, it's the it's Barbie one. Good thing she's here to good thing she's here to keep me in line. The next item that we have here is this Barbie fiery felt. This is for uh, PJ and Stacy. This is brand new. I bought this at the auction. I paid one hundred and fifty dollars for like five pieces or six pieces. The other one sold for a hundred and a quarter, and this one sold for ninety nine bucks. Not too bad, uh, plus shipping. So. That's pretty awesome. If you ever see these old Barbie clothes like this, like this outfit in the box sells obviously for really good money, but even if it isn't in the box, that's still like a $30 or $40 outfit if you can find the old Barbie clothes. Okay, the next item that we have here is a book that is really old, right? You said it's as old as you. Uh -huh. Oh, she's gonna hurt me for that one. <laughs> this is uh, The Uninvited. How much did it sell for? 446 plus shipping. 446 plus shipping. So that one wasn't that great. Uh, hopefully they get better from here. I don't want to throw books away. Yeah, we don't like throwing books away. That's a good, a good save, and it's in beautiful shape too, and that's what I like about okay. it. Okay. That's the wrong one. Oh, it's the wrong one. Yeah. You can't make mistakes like that. It's, here we go. This one. And we sold this 2015 to 2019 general class uh, FCC for getting your ham radio license. That was part of that big. Ram Hadio, Ram, Ram Hadio, a uh, ham radio deal, <laughs> I'm silly people, that ham radio deal that we got uh, at the auction, how much did this sell for? $15.25. $15.25, was that shipped? Yes. Okay, $15.25. We're going to pull this one back down, and we sold a remote control, not for a whole lot, but a little of something, this one didn't quite make it into our remote control, this actually needs to go into the remote control bin right here i put remote controls in here i thought it was in here it might not be in here it could be in the other one 
But we do need a Cutco knife, don't we? Do you know which one we need? We could go on and just grab that real quick. Let's see what the number is. 1728KH. Let me see what it looks like. How much did it sell for? That was the big one, right? Yeah, that would be the big one. That was the big one. And I think that is this one right here. This is the Cutco knife that we got. And I paid 50 cents for this at um, Goodwill. And how much did it sell for? 72. 72 bucks. Not too bad. Okay, guys, here's that elusive remote. It was upstairs in a tote that I had just started putting stuff in. It sold for $6.24. Shipped. Won't make much, but at least they'll save it from the landfill and they'll have a good home and be put to use. Okay, so we need a train from inside this tote. And is it the, what car is it? The Southern, Southern Pacific Locomotive 9725. Okie dokie. Southern Pacific Locomotive. This is it right here. We picked these up at the auction about three, about three, four weeks ago. These are really cool, um, like little uh, engaged train. It doesn't actually work, but it's just a model. How much did it sell for? Twelve dollars. Twelve bucks. Not too bad. That's pretty cool. Okay, the next item that we got is this fluke case. Somebody offered me <laughs> twenty bucks for it. And I was like, nah, I don't think I'm going to take that. And I had it listed for like 100 And it's got all the wiring and the paperwork and all of the goodies in it. So if you're ever out and about and you see something that is like this, but it doesn't have like the instrument in it, like it's missing the meter. But I still sold this for how much? $90. 90 bucks. but it came with a carrying case, all kinds of probes, everything that you would need minus the meter. So somebody out there has the meter. They needed the case, and hopefully that will make them happy. Merry Christmas to whoever got it. Okay, guys, I'm back here in the hole again. This is where I put all of the new stuff that's listed, so that's why we keep coming back to uh, this area. After the beginning of the new year, we're going to go through and we're going to start working through all of this stuff and determining what needs to stay listed and what needs to be gone. Obviously, the car parts are still doing really well, but... The item that we sold is the Big Chief. Um, I'm not going to take them out and show them to you. But if you are a viewer of our channel, you will have seen the video that we just put out, the one about buying Christmas ornaments. I told you guys that if you buy Christmas ornaments, you will make money, especially around Christmas time. But it is something that tends to sell all year. This is Big Chief. I paid 10 bucks for them. And how much did you sell for? 55 plus shipping. 55 plus shipping. That's pretty good, right? Yep. That paid for everything. Okay, so I'm looking for a little remote. It's got to be in here somewhere. Ah, here it is right here. This is a little remote that we got. These little remotes sell really well. We sold it for how much? $11. $11. And that's going to go, that'll just slide down a little envelope and it'll ship real easy. So there you go. Take it, sister. Take that money. We're digging through t-shirt totes here. And she found it first. It was a Chris Isaac shirt right yeah autograph. autographed autographed see it there but... yeah, you can kind of see it there how much did it sell for 2066 plus shipping. 2066 plus shipping it sold for so much because this was from his uh like i think south korean tour so that was pretty hard 1999 pretty hard to find in the united states so that's why it sold so well okay guys so i want to give you a brief overview of everything we've got the remote the train the knife the shirt, Barbie clothes, wheel cap, free grates, ornament. We've got the DVD, remote, another DVD, a book, Mustang parts. We've got a random uh, oval mirror. We've got some lenses, some Ford uh, tailgate, and a nipple. Uh, for a Ford water, for a Mustang, some kind of Mustang part. And then we've got this flute case. And all of this totals up to $607. And that's not too bad. That was just over the last 24 hours, just since the last video came out. I don't know if I'm going to put this video out, uh, like, ahead of the last one that I just edited. Because, obviously... What I told you about in the beginning of the video is probably pretty interesting, so I don't know. We'll just see how they flow. But, hope you enjoyed this part of the video. 
Hey everybody, this is John here, and I'm going to keep this short and sweet. This is the video from the security cameras at the thrift store that I go to a lot. One of my really good friends runs the place, and they have had a rash of break-ins, a rash of burglaries at this place. People are breaking into the shed, and they're stealing the donations that people put outside. Well, I was out that night. I was working late at the store, and I decided I was going to go get something to eat. It was like 9 o'clock, and I went to Sonic to get me a hamburger and some tater tots. And I was talking on Whereby to a couple of my friends, Jesse, uh, Dusty, Shane, and I believe Barry was there. Uh, a lot of these people are YouTubers or just, you know, people who like to hang around with people <laughs> who talk about YouTube, I guess. And we ended up uh, here, and I was going to donate some stuff. So this is the video of me bringing stuff to the thrift store. So we're going to play this video real quick. I pull up here in my green machine, the beast from the east, the place uh, is completely empty here, and as you can see, I get out of my car, fat and sassy, because I just had some Sonic, and it was absolutely delicious, so I open up the lift gate, and the light from the security camera turns on, but as you can see, right up there, as we see, there's a car turning in, and as the car travels down the road, we can see that this is a Fredericktown Police Department. It's the fuzz. They're coming for me. They are seeing that somebody is outside here, and they don't know if I'm up to good or no good, but they figure probably at about 9 o'clock at night, I'm probably not up to much good. So, at this point, I'm kind of unaware. I'm bringing stuff over, taking it out of the back of my car, and I'm setting it on the table over here, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you can see a set of <laughs> lights. I was actually reading the notes over there that said don't steal stuff and I'm like yeah I wouldn't want to steal stuff because this is a, a workshop for developmentally disabled uh, people and I absolutely am passionate about this facility. They do great things for the community and <laughs> as we see the cop pulls up and I'm like oh my god I can't believe this. At this point I'm thinking where is my GoPro? I sure wish I had my GoPro. So I'm like I know the rule. I'm just going to walk over here and be like look I'm just I'm kind of donating stuff like I own a antique store here in town I dig through stuff late at night and um, so I'm just uh, going to drop this stuff off he's like well I need to see your ID and I'm like at this point I'm not gonna argue I'm like okay I gotta go to my car to get my ID out and I'm like I keep my hands where you can see me he gets out he meets me I pull my driver's license out and hand it to him and he's like okay and I'm like yeah I'm just up here donating stuff and at this point he's still a little bit suspicious I think you know maybe the big fat guy wearing shorts and a flannel shirt you know it I definitely don't look like a typical drug user like my drug of choice is definitely McDonald's um, so <laughs> I'm like okay well I'm just gonna stand here for a little bit so I've actually sped this up to like 600 times the speed or like 60 yeah 600 percent faster so like I'm standing here for quite a while while he's in his nice warm car I definitely don't want to go to my car um, because I don't want to get shot. So when he gets out, he's laughing. He brings me over my ID, and that is pretty much where this ends. I told him that I really appreciate him as an officer and that I really appreciate what he's doing here and that, you know, it's a tough job. I definitely wouldn't want to be a cop in this day and age. We uh, say our goodbyes, and he goes one way and I go the other. So... That was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's kind of funny. You know, you just never know. You know, I, I guess if I'd have had a warrant out for my arrest, I could have been arrested. But I did not have a warrant out. So I am thankful that I went home that night to my family. And uh, they all they say is uh, that's, that's the end of the story, I guess. So I appreciate you guys very much. If you uh, really like this channel, you like the content that I'm putting out, it'd be super cool if you go down right now and maybe just smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I could definitely use your subscribe. Um, I'm trying to work towards 6,000 subs, and I would like to maybe hit that by January or February. That would be super cool. And the only way that I can do that is if you come on board and you just subscribe to the channel and if you would share this video out you really don't know how much that means to youtubers sharing the video out is one of the great ways that the algorithm sees that we're actually making a difference so right now i'm just yammering most of you guys have probably already left but if you're sticking around you're the true blue uh through and through and i really appreciate you that's a lot of rhyming there but i'm going to go on and get off here you guys have a good night good morning and i hope that you are blessed so Thank you very much for watching. Uh, as always, the family that picks together, sticks together. God bless you guys. Have a good day.